differential heating of land and water surfaces. In this module, you will learn how the differential heating and cooling of land and water surfaces affects the weather of a place. Did you know that during the day, the temperature in the desert is very high and it is very hot, whereas at night, the temperature is low and it is very cold? Have you wondered why it is so? Let us do an activity to find out. After two hours, touch the water and the sand. What do you find? Which is warmer? You will see that the sand is much warmer than the water. Let us do the same activity again but a bit differently. This time, keep the containers inside a room for about an hour. What do you find? Which is cooler? You will see that the sand is cooler than water. So, now we know that sand gets warmer faster than water. It also cools faster than water. Thus, this activity proves that sand warms up as well as cools down quickly. This is why the days are hot and nights are cold in the desert area. The differential heating and cooling of land and water surfaces has a great influence on the weather of a place. Let us learn how. At the same time, cool air which is above the sea moves towards the land to take the place of the warmer air that has risen. Thus, wind blows from the sea towards land. This wind is cool and pleasant and is called sea breeze. At the same time, the cool air over the land moves towards the sea to take the place of the warm air. Thus, wind blows from land to sea. Such winds are dry and are called land breezes. In this module, you've learned the following. Land warms up faster than water during the day and also loses heat more quickly than water surfaces. The differential heating and cooling of land and water surfaces has a great influence on the weather of a place. Wind blowing from the sea towards land during the day is called sea breeze. Wind blowing from the land towards sea during the night is called land breeze. 